today we're continuing right along with Module 4, Lesson 30. It's rare that we have a lesson on Friday, but we do this week, so that we can finish Module 4 before Science Camp. That means next Friday is going to be your Module 4 test. Your learning goal today is to take everything you've learned about fractions so far and use it to help you divide decimals by another decimal. Okay, so we're going to do a decimal divided by a decimal. What is my divisor in this first math problem? Two. two. Okay. Is two bigger, equal to, or less than one? Okay. What's my divisor in this number? Three. In this equation? Three. Again, that's larger than one, right? When I divide by a divisor that's bigger than one, what happens to my whole? Does it get bigger or smaller? Smaller. Because I'm dividing it into smaller groups, right? Now, over here, my divisor is what? One-fourth and one-fifth. How do those divisors compare to one? Less. They're less than one, these divisors, right? And what happens to my whole? Does it get bigger or smaller? Bigger. Interesting. So it seems like there's a pattern. When I'm dividing by a number greater than one, the number gets smaller. And when I divide by a number smaller than one, the quotient gets bigger. Interesting. As promised, this is a decimal divided by a decimal. How do I say this decimal in word form? Two and four tenths. Good. What about this one? Eight tenths. Now, here's what my challenge for you. Yesterday, we were writing it into fraction form, right? That's not my challenge for you today. I want you to take this whole entire expression, 2.4 divided by 0 0.8, and write it as one fraction. How can we do that? Well, let's simplify it. What if I didn't have decimals. What if it was 2 divided by 4? How would I write that as one fraction? 2 over 4. Remember that our whole is always the numerator and our divisor is always the denominator. So keeping that in mind, let's say we're thinking about that, okay, how could I write this 2.4 divided by 0 0.8 as one fraction? This reminds us that the whole always is in the numerator and then the divisor is always in the denominator. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So what's the whole in this case? 2.4. And what's the divisor? 0 0.8. So this right here, this is how you would write that math expression as a fraction. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, how do you guys see that there's decimal points here? There's a decimal point here, and there's a decimal point here, right? Let's look at the 2.4 first. If we wanted to, quote, unquote, get rid of that decimal point, if I have 2.4, if I want to get rid of that decimal point, do I have to move it to the right or to the left? If I were to shift it one spot to the right, wouldn't that be getting rid of the decimal point? What math operation do I have to do to, to do that? I'm multiplying by 10. Hmm, okay. So if I have in my numerator 2.4 and my denominator 0 0.8, can I just go and say, okay, I'm going to multiply that by 10? Will that change the value of that, of that expression? Yes. But I, can I multiply it by 10 over 10? Yes. Because 10 over 10 is really what number? One. When I multiply by 1, does that change the value of any sort of expression? No. no, right? It's called the identity property of multiplication. When you multiply by 1, the identity stays the same. Okay, so if I were to multiply by 10, wouldn't that shift that over there? And this one would shift over here? So what's my new expression? 24 over 8. Okay, let me move this over a little bit so that I have enough space. So that equals 24 over 8. Can we simplify that? What is that? 3. So, by the way, let me ask you a question. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Does 2.4 over 0 0.8, does that have the same value as this expression? Does it have the same value as this expression? So does this have the same value as this expression? So what's 2.4 divided by 0 0.8? 3. Does this expression, 2.4 divided by 0 0.08, is it equivalent to this fraction right here? Okay. Now, we have to think, how can we, quote, unquote, get rid of the decimal point? In 2.4, how many times would we have to shift the decimal point? How many times? 
of pi, we would have to shift it one time, which is the same as multiplying by 10, okay? What about in the bottom? We have 0 0.08. How many times would I have to shift the decimal point? One, two, which is the same as multiplying by 100. So does that mean I can multiply this fraction by 10 over 100? No. Because 10 over 100 is not a version of 1. So what should I do? What should I do? Jonathan? Ooh, I want to multiply it by 100 over 100, which would mean how many times do I have to shift this decimal point? I have to do it one more time and put in a zero. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. So now, what do I have in my numerator? 240 over, what do I have in my denominator? Eight. Let's check in one more time. Does this expression, is it equivalent to this fraction? Is, is that the same as this fraction? Is that the same as this fraction? All three of those are equivalent. They have the same value. When I multiply something by a version of 1, it doesn't change the value. Okay, that's why we don't need to undo. Now can we simplify this fraction? If I have 248, how many holes do I have? 30. So what is 2.4 divided by 0 0.08? 